Hello, hello. I have been having another play with the Hatch Embroidery digitising software and I have come up with this. I can't take the whole credit though. The unicorn head was from a website called Urban Threads who do some fantastic embroidery designs. They also sell the designs in various different formats and various different sizes. So because I'm working with a brother embroidery machine, I've chosen the PEZ format and I've chosen a size that will fit in the hoop that I own. There's often extra information that you can take a look at as well on their website, like how many stitches and colour change charts and so on and so forth. After purchasing and downloading that design, I uh, will be using Hatch Embroidery software to um, edit that design and add the monogramming and the frame as well. Uh, in addition, I will be recolouring the design too. If you haven't heard of Hatch Embroidery, do pop over to hatchembroidery.com where you will find out much more about it, including all of the different levels that are available for the software. I will be using the digitizer software as it has all of the tools. You can even download a free trial and give it a go for yourself if you would like. So. In the Hatch Embroidery Digitizing software, I'm going to open the design that I chose, which was the unicorn's head. And because it's not a native format to the Hatch Embroidery software, I obviously have to select the format type, and it also gives me a warning to say about resizing it um, to a certain percentage to avoid any loss of quality in the design. So there's the design, looks pretty but I want to make a few changes and add a few things as well. The first thing that I will do is begin by taking a look at the sequence of colours and colour changes just to see um, what I'm working with and as you can see there are a lot of colours and colour changes involved in this project. I have a limited range of the Gutterman Sulky threads though so I chose five to um, complete the design with and then set about recolouring the design using the tools in Hatch Embroidery. You've got many different colour charts available um, so I obviously chose the Sulky colour chart as that's what I'm working with. Typed in the colour codes and then recolored each part of the design. And I also began moving them around as well so that they would stitch those colors all together. By using the control key on my keyboard and clicking each part of the design, I can select multiple parts um, to change the color of.
Okay, so there we go, that's the colouring complete. Uh, so I'm just going to close a couple of these toolboxes down over on the right and take a look to see if I'm happy with this. Now I can see various different things going on there, so I'm just going to hide as much as possible so I can see just the stitches in the True View feature of Hatch Embroidery, just to make sure that it looks as I expect it to. And I'll also select my hoop size so that I can see what size roughly the stitch design is going to come out. The next thing that I would like to do is to start adding some extra detail. So from the standard shapes in the digitized menu, I'm going to choose a frame to apply. Once I have chosen the design, I click OK, then click once anywhere on my hoop area, and click a second time or press Enter to set that shape in place. I will then activate my Select tool, change the rotation to 90 degrees, and then set this to be an outline rather than a filled shape. And then I'll use my mouse to reposition that shape. And also use the nodes on the shape to resize it. Okay, I'd like to add maybe um, some extra outlines to that frame, so I'm going to use the Create Outlines tool from the Create Layouts menu, and I will set the offset outlines to 2mm, just the offset count to 1, and then leave everything else apart from the colour the same. go, two extra frame styles there now. So I'll select the colour that I want to stitch each frame part out in, and also the stitch type for each of those as well. So one of them will have a single run and I think the two inner ones will have a triple run. I'm just going to reorganize these frame parts in the sequence tab as well so that they will stitch out with the other colored parts that are in the design. Once that is finished, to prevent any accidental movement, I will group everything to do with that unicorn design. Then the next thing to do is use the built-in lettering tools to start adding the words onto the design. So the first will be a line of text that reads, if you can be anything, be a. I'll then choose some embroidery fonts and take a look through the ones that are available. These are all pre-digitized fonts. You can of course use true type fonts from your computer and the Hatch Embroidery software will convert them for you, but these are ready to roll digitized fonts. I quite like this one, so I'll just reposition it and resize it.
change the color as well there and the next thing I will do is a second batch of lettering and I'll probably try and spell unicorn correctly and then I'll choose a different font from the selection I'll probably go for the antique rose design I'll reposition and resize this as well Now I'm selecting everything and using the Align and Space menu just to make sure everything's aligned vertically. And the next thing that I will do is start breaking apart the unicorn text using the Edit menu and Break Apart feature. Just a pointer, it's important that you do as many changes as you need to make before you do this because you can't go back and change the text after you've broken everything into its individual parts. The reason that I broke this apart though is because I wanted to recolor each individual element of this design. So the roses and the text. If I'd have done it while I had the text originally selected, it would have recolored everything the same color, so the um, text and also the flowers. That's not what I wanted though. Just a bit more rearrangement in the sequencing here, again so that all of the colours will um, work together and be stitched together. After I'm pretty much happy with how this was going to work and be coloured and sized and everything, I'm using the built-in player, stitch player, to stitch this out in virtual reality, I guess you could call it, just to sort of see if there are any things that I can spot that will cause issues or any um, problem areas that I think I should really take care of. I'm happy with how that went though so I can now save my design or export it and then take it across to my embroidery machine. And just so you're aware I'm stitching out on a Brother Innovis 750E machine using the Gutterman threads that I showed you earlier.
is the machine working through the last of the colour sequence. I have sped this section up slightly so that you don't sit here forever, but hopefully you will appreciate how this is working. And here's the finished design. I'm very well impressed with both the software and also Urban Thread's designs. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up or a like. And if you would like to see more from me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will notify you of any future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.